my glorious fangs, happy Tuesday. I hope everyone had a fabulous weekend and are doing amazing. If you're new here, welcome to my cavern of secrets. I am Kasara. Here you will find horror, true crime, disturbing history, scary stories, and some game playthroughs just to offer a little piece from the terror that is my channel. For the month of April, I'll be covering urban legends and superstitions. So to start this off, I decided on the number 13 because I've always heard how unlucky the number is to the point where some hotels don't even have the number for their rooms or floor. They skip the number 13. And I actually found that it's not even just hotels that do this, but airlines as well. And we've, of course, all heard Friday the 13th, which also surrounds this superstition. So where did this superstition start and what caused such a fear of a number and day? A lot of resources that I found point to religion as the culprit. According to the Bible, there were 12 apostles at the Last Supper. Well, apart from Judas, who was the 13th member and betrayer of Jesus. Similarly, the Nordic have a very close story revolving a dinner for the 12 gods until Loki showed up upsetting the balance of the dinner party, which may have something to do with the idea that 12 is the perfect number, according to mathematicians and scientists. Ancient Egyptians, though, found the number 13 to be lucky, which is totally flip-flopped. However, in most of East and Southeast Asia, the number four is unlucky and avoided in private and public life. The reason behind this is four sounds similar to death in the Chinese language and Chinese influenced linguistic subgroups. Plus, the character for the number four is also close to death, the character for death. So what are your feelings on the number 13? Do you find it unlucky or is it just a number? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'm curious what you thought, like what you think. And what are your thoughts on Friday the 13th? Do you think it's this horrible day that we associate it with where all bad luck occurs? Or is it similar to how we treat Mondays? Now, what I mean by that is, and I've been hearing this quite often as of late, when we spill our coffee, we're exhausted, we make mistakes, we're late, we're running late, we blame it on it being a Monday. Have you done this? Are you familiar with this? I know I've done this. I've blamed things on it being a Monday. <laughs> I've done it quite often lately when computers aren't working um when my leap motion actually failed i blamed it on a monday because it was a monday <laughs> when i was trying to work on i forget what video i was working on but it just wouldn't work so there's that even though it wasn't a monday because i still haven't been able to get that to work and i just gave up and now we have this beautiful program so what are your feelings on all of it? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a great week and don't forget to like and subscribe to join the Fang family. Friday, I'll be reviewing the film Night Teeth, which you can actually stream on Netflix right now. And it is a vampire movie. I won't tell you what I thought of the movie, but I will tell you to avoid spoilers. I do strongly suggest you watch it because there probably will be spoilers, <laughs> most likely. And I'll also tell you two scary urban legends from Japan. If you want to ensure that you don't miss those, click the bell icon to never miss a video. And if you can't wait till Friday, check out my other videos on the screen. Thank you again so much for your support. I honestly hope you have a great week. Take care until next time. Bye everyone. Yeah, her hands still don't work very well, but that's okay. <laughs> work in progress. But thanks again.